Micropilot, world leader in professional UAV autopilots. As part of our product development process, Micropilot uses three types of simulators. A software in the loop simulator, a quasi hardware in the loop simulator, and our true hardware in the loop simulator. All of our simulators consist of two parts, a flight simulator and the autopilot software. The simulator sends simulated sensor values to the autopilot software, and the autopilot software sends control positions to the simulator. In our software in the loop simulator, both the simulator and autopilot software run on the same computer. They communicate using a software interface. In our quasi hardware in the loop simulator, the autopilot software runs on autopilot hardware and the simulator runs on a Windows PC. They communicate using a serial channel. In our true hardware in the loop simulator, the autopilot software runs on autopilot hardware and the simulator runs on a PC that is dedicated to the simulation. Unlike the quasi hardware in the loop simulator, the true hardware in the loop simulator reads the control signals directly from the autopilot, and it generates the same electrical signals that the sensors generate. Typically, an autopilot will read values from its sensors, apply calibration to those sensors, perform control system calculations, mix the outputs of the control system, and send mixed output controls to servos or the speed controller. A quasi-hardware in the loop simulator changes how the autopilot software executes. Instead of reading sensor values from the sensors, they are read from the simulator using a serial channel. And, instead of outputting control signals to servos or speed controllers, those control signals are transmitted to the simulator using a serial channel. A true hardware in the loop simulator generates sensor signals electronically and reads control signals, allowing the autopilot software to execute in the same fashion as it will in flight. Sensor values are read by the software as if the sensors are still present on the autopilot, and control outputs are generated by the autopilot software as if they were connected to real speed controllers or servos. So, the autopilot software executes in the same way in flight as it does during simulation under the true hardware in the loop simulator. Only Micropilot makes a true hardware in the loop simulator. The software in the loop simulator and quasi hardware in the loop simulator are much simpler to develop than the true hardware in the loop simulator. This is Micropilot's true hardware in the loop simulator. The autopilot connected to the simulator is a triple redundant autopilot. We also have versions for our single autopilots. The first thing we do with an autopilot used in the true hardware in the loop simulator is we remove all of its sensors. We use a Simulink-based simulator compiled using Simulink Coder, formerly known as Real-Time Workshop. And we generate the sensor signals with the Simulink-based simulator. Some sensors are easy to simulate because they are analog or PWM. Digital sensors are more difficult because they hold the sensor values in registers. So, we have to program FPGA to have the same registers as the sensor. You can see the three autopilots on the top of the 3X carrier board. Each autopilot has a number of wires leading into it, and those wires are the simulated sensor signals. This is our Horizon Ground Control Station. It is monitoring and talking to the autopilot. In the back is the computer that is running the Simulink simulator. On the next monitor is the x simulator that we are using as a visualization tool. The x simulator that we are using as a visualization tool is getting its data from the Simulink simulator and it is displaying how the aircraft is flying. There you can see the plane rolling into a turn. You can see all of the previous paths on the simulation. On the left, we have a pan tilt zoom payload emulator. It accepts camera control commands from the autopilot, and altitude and position information from the simulator, and it renders the video output that a camera would generate. 
We display this video in the Horizon Video window. It also shows us the camera's footprint on the map. We can compare it to Horizon's footprint. Our True Hardware in the Loop simulator is the most advanced simulator on the market. We use it as part of our automated test process. Our customers use it when building iron birds. Thanks for your time.